Hey guys, Imagine from ECF, and uh, real quick, I just kind of uh, I saw a thread up in the real forum um, about the Grand or the Woodville hitting just a little bit harder than the um, Rio Grand, and I'm I'm kind of have to agree with it. Um, while they both are a 3.7 or 6 volt or whatever volt you want to run, and they both are you know the same type of setup, um, this just feels like it hits a little harder. Um, I don't know if that's with the electrical aspect of it or what versus the mechanical aspect, but it does feel like it. So what I decided to do tonight was I'm going to run uh, three different batteries and check the loaded and unloaded voltages of three different types. You've got a Tenergy 2600 uh, milliamp 18650, a tre or no, an Ultrafire 18650, um, what is the model? 2400 ma and an AW18650 1600 ma. These are all 3.7 volt batteries. So first things first, let's pop an AW in. Alright. Now just holding it there on the load with nothing, just unloaded. Alright. in there. Nothing in there at all. I'm getting 4.21. Let's go ahead and put an atomizer on. The one that I don't really care about. Okay, now we got an atomizer on. A 510 low resistance. Um, now, okay, so we're getting 4.21.2, somewhere right in there. Now this is unloaded. Uh, under load, five, four point nine, almost four point one. Okay, so let's see. Well, let's hold it back there again because it did dip off. I want to check that. So no load, four point two. Under load, four point five, four point four. So they drop off, but you're still getting somewhere between 4.4 and 4.1, whatever the battery is. Now, let's compare that to, so that was the AW. Let's compare that to the Ultrafire. Which, by the way, is pretty damn snug in there. Let's test that. Under load. Without, I'm sorry, with no load. 4.12. Wow. 3.5. That's tremendous. Okay. Now let's check a Tenergy 18650 uh, flat top. No load, 4.8. Under load, 3.8. Now, same atomizers, all same setup, except for each battery was different. Um, prior to doing this, they were fully charged or damn near close, so it shouldn't make a difference. Um, what I find pretty goddamn amazing is uh, this Ultrafire went from, what was it, a little over 4 volts, four point, almost 4.1 straight down to three and a half, not even 3.7. Couldn't even hang there. <laughs> um, this guy gave me, uh, what was it, 3.8 something, and this one was over full, four volts. So I think the results are pretty conclusive. Uh, you know, let's see. Yeah. AW is number one. Tenergy is number two. And the sh Sh crappy shinju <laughs> ultra fire is the last one um, and real quick let's do one more comparison with the mini let's do the mini let's put an atomizer around the inner mini and boom. the batteries I'm going to try in here are a trust fire 3.7 uh, 14,500, and this one, I think, is 900 million amps. Let me see. It says... 
900 milliamps. And then the ultra fire is a 3.6 volt and it is 900 milliamps as well. So let's check the blue trust fire first and see what volts we're getting under here. Loaded and unloaded. Unloaded, we are getting 4.19. So just shy of 4.2 on a full charge. Under load, 3.72, 3.7, 3.69, 3.68. So somewhere between 3.67 and, and 3.7, which is pretty good for a 3.6 volt battery. So, or I'm sorry, 3.7 volt battery. So uh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Now let's try the Ultra Fire, which is a 3.6 volt. This is the gray model ones with 900 milliamps and uh, 900, yeah, 900 milliamps. Unloaded, 4.12. Loaded, 3.64, 3.63, So just over 3.6. Not bad. Both pretty decent batteries. Um, the reason I like these guys is because they're so cheap. They're, you can get these pretty much anywhere for three, four bucks a pop. Uh, sometimes cheaper. So they work well. They're disposable. Chuck them when they're done. When they start getting weak, but they run pretty, pretty good. Um, you should get a couple hundred charges out of each one of these. Uh, but nice little batteries. I'm actually surprised with the results. They're pretty true to what they say. Um, as long as you take them off the charger at the right time. Um, that was all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do little comparisons and see the different volts. Um, here, you know what? Let's do, since we did the Woodville, let's do the Grand real quick. And then uh, we can do comparison results later on. So let's put an atomizer on the Grand. And let's start with the Ultra Fire battery, which are so they're so damn tall. And uh, didn't hit that yet. Okay, 4.11, no load. Under load, damn, those batteries suck. And that's a relatively brand new one. Maybe I just got a bad one, I doubt it, but, jeez. Flat top, Tenergy. Under without no load, 4.8. Under load, 3.7, 3.6. Now that's kind of interesting because when it was on the Woodville, wasn't it higher? Let's just check one more time. So that was 3.7, 3.76 on the Grand. This is the Woodville. Let's Just for shits and giggles, I guess. Let's check. No load, load. 3.8. Okay, so if I'm getting 3.8 there, and on the grand. Let's check it one more time. I know this is a long video, guys, but <laughs> who cares? It's all about battery volts. Okay. No load, 4.6. Under load, 3.8. Okay, it's about the same. All right. And let's check an AW on the grand as well. No load, 4.2. Under load. 4.8. So, advice, chuck all these other batteries. Tenergies are good, but check all them other batteries and just stick with the AWs. They run the best, and uh, I don't have any problems with them. That's all I want to do, just do a couple of little volts comparison. Uh, peace out, guys.